Okay, here's the thing. So many people buy online courses and don't finish them. So it's really important to us that you not only go through this content and finish it and complete it, but that you are successful. So our goal is to help you and your dog in all that we do here at MJ's. We really want to see you fully complete this course and to be successful with the content that we are providing. There are a few things that you can do in order to make that happen. One thing you want to do is to go through these videos from start to finish. So we try to keep these videos short, easy to follow, and we want you to be able to go through them from start to finish. So don't start in the middle of the course because you see something that looks interesting and you say, okay, well, I'll go back to the beginning later on. Don't just put the video on and then walk away and do something else. Try to go through these videos from start to finish. We also want you to set aside time to practice. So make sure you dedicate some time to train your dog. Even if you only have a few minutes a day, that's better than nothing. So schedule in that time, whatever it takes, change your schedule and make sure you put that time in to train your dog. Lastly, you want to try to take a few notes if possible. Not notes about the video, although you're more than welcome to do that as well. You want to take some notes about your dog's progress. It can be very difficult to see the difference in your dog when you see your dog every single day. One trick is to write down where you think your dog is in the muzzle and halter training in the very beginning. So you could use a rating system, a one to 10. You could just write a description. My dog will not go next to the halter or the muzzle. I don't think my dog is capable of this. This is really hard. Whatever you wanna write. So write down where you think your dog is right now. And then somewhere in the middle of this short course, this course should only take you about three weeks. We're going to get this fully trained in about three weeks. So somewhere around the middle, go ahead and check in right where your dog is at that point. And then at the end, again, you want to go ahead and check in. So you can do this course as many times as you need to. You can do it over if you do get sidetracked. You can do a separate course for the muzzle and then go through it again for the halter. Use this however you would like to use it, but most importantly, we want to see you be successful. So please take some time to write some notes about where your dog is now. Go back to those notes throughout the course. Go back to those notes at the end. Make sure you finish these videos and set aside that time to train your dog.